Hello all. So in this uh, video, we will see how to add uh, a navigation menu um, for the created uh, object. Okay. So in this case, we have a, a service encounter object. Uh, so we already uh, seen the preview, but we wanted to uh, um, we wanted to add uh, um, a page entry uh, in under Redwood Sales. So that when we click on this uh, uh, icon, uh, it navigates to the list page directly. Okay, so to do that, um, we'll, we have, uh, we need to create a, we need to uh, use the sandbox and a structure uh, to create a new page entry. Okay, so now we'll just uh, review um, so that, um, so to pre preview uh, without uh, without navigation menu, uh, we'll use uh, application slash container. Okay. It takes a few seconds to load, and then uh, we will be able to see the uh, list page. It's loading. Yeah, we are saying. So now we'll go to structure. Sorry, okay. So we go to structure. So make sure you added uh, the structure tool. And then you go to uh, create and then create a page entry. Uh, here, give the uh, object name. Uh, in this case, we have a service encounter as an object name. And select the icon. And then choose the group. So we need to add under sales, Redwood sales. And then if you have any expression, then based on role or user, you can you choose uh, expression, but to, to uh, so, um, so we are going to add without any condition. So it's, um, so I'm putting uh, the default values as yes. So it always uh, shows uh, to the use all users who have uh, access to uh, uh, this uh, page. Okay, so then uh, uh, the link type uh, will be video uh, visual builder studio page because it's a, a visual builder page. Okay, so here uh, we need to add a focus view ID as uh, uh, since this is a required field, so we need to add a value and uh, this value is slash uh, index dot html and then web application we need to choose uh, the uh, fscm ui And then secure resource name, we can keep it blank. Application stripe uh, CRM and Visual Studio Flow uh, is uh, slash uh, application. And then um, VB app UA is uh, CX customs. Uh, so <clears throat> all this we can find uh, from here. So if you notice, uh, 
Uh, so this is our uh, custom app UI, so CX custom. So we'll use uh, custom app in VB app UI, we'll use CX uh, custom. Okay, so that is our uh, app UI. And then um, VB Studio Flow, uh, from where we got this is, uh, this is the flow application, slash application. So that we use it here. And then the page name. Uh, if we go, if we go to this uh, URL, so we can see the path is uh, container slash service encounter slash uh, list. Right. So we will use this, and that's all. So we'll save and continue. And save and close. So now to preview, uh, we'll, we'll again uh, use this preview button. Uh, since uh, we haven't uh, published uh, this sandbox, uh, so we should uh, we should uh, preview. Uh, in the same preview mode. Uh, so for that, uh, we should go to home page. Okay. And after going to home page, uh, now we need to use the uh, a navigation bar to uh, check the uh, to preview. So now we have an icon here. So click on this. So previously, without uh, if we use directly this preview, so we don't uh, we we don't get this application slash container, right? So now because we have given the exact path uh, in in structure, so it navigates to the uh, correct path, and then it shows the list page for a uh, service account. So this is how we can uh, will embed uh, the. Uh, navigation menu entry uh, or navigation will add icon and then we will set up uh, the pay uh, the icon like this so the important points is uh, so mostly uh, for custom objects uh, so this will be same and also cx custom will be same if we are using fragment uh, uh, based approach uh, then only the change uh, will be the uh, object names. So we also need to make sure that uh, there is no spaces and uh, and uh, uh, any additional slash or without slash that will not give a complete path. Uh, so it will become an invalid URL and uh, we won't be able to preview. So we need to make sure exactly to place the slashes and without uh, uh, any spaces. Okay. So this is how we'll add the uh, page entry for custom objects. So to preview the standard object uh, um, menu entry, so we can go to digital sales. And we can see this. So how it is configured. So here the extra one will be <clears throat> the secure resource name and then the parameter list. So this depends on the uh, type. Uh, okay, so we added under Redwood sales, right? So this, um, whatever we see icons in Redwood sales, those are fragment based approach. So we, we, we can see this, uh, the similar, uh, uh, similar uh, 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 parameter values. Uh, only the change is here, uh, VB app UI is CX sales because, so these are under CX sales. Our custom app 
custom objects are under uh, CX custom. So uh, we use it CX custom. And then uh, extra privilege is uh, this one. Uh, so this is to, uh, uh, this is applicable only for uh, standard objects. And this is based on some privilege, uh, functional privilege. That's all.